Hey there, fellow Bakugan fans. The all new Geogons are finally here. Ah! These are Bakugan like you have never seen them before. And today I'm going to open them all up, show off their awesome transformations, and then I'll show you how to win your battles using Geogon. We've all seen the classic Bakugan balls roll into battle and transform into monsters, but now Bakugan come in all sorts of cool shapes, like pyramids, cubes, drums, rectangles. These powerful mysterious creatures just came out in the all new Geogon Rising show on Netflix. I mean, just look at all these cool geometric shapes. But enough talking, let's get into some unboxing. Titan King, let's do it. Time to unbox Talan. Chaos Arachnia. Darkest Hyenix. Stingzer, let's do it. And Montrepod. And boom. That is all six Wave 2 Geogon, so let's look at them one at a time and see what we got. This purple drum-shaped Geogon is Montrapod. It looks pretty unassuming in its drum form, but when you drop it into battle, it rolls out in a way you might not be expecting. Montrepod's long segmented body unfurls to reveal quite a stunning looking Geogon. You might think Montrepod is some kind of a snake or a sea serpent, but one glance at its character card tells you the truth. Montrepod has 1000 B power and 10 damage, and way, way more legs than that. Good grief. I hope you're not afraid of creepy crawlies, because this is not the only Geogon with many, many legs. Hexagon! This is Arachnia, a chaos. Well, you'll see. When you drop Arachnia into battle, their legs pop out the side, a little face pops out the front, and that might at a glance look like a scorpion tail. But no, when you get up close, you can see that's actually a face. Yeah, Arachnia is basically like a spider centaur, which you can see pretty clearly in the ability card that comes with this Geogon. Super strong in battle, super freaky looking, and sure to scare anyone with arachnophobia. So choose your opponent carefully when you decide to use Arachnia in battle. And when you're done, it closes right back up into a clean hexagonal shape. I love this Geogon. This is Talan. Not quite a cube, not a rectangle. This kid's is what we call an oblong cuboid. Let's drop this oblong cuboid into battle and see what we're dealing with. The wingspan on Talan is absolutely incredible. It is huge when you have it fully open. I mean, just compare this with Arachnia, it is nuts how big it is. And its shape when it's open looks absolutely nothing like it does when it's closed. What an incredible transformation. And boy howdy, this Bakugan is powerful to boot. 1700 B power, only two damage, but 1700 B power. Talan is your friend. Talan will come to aid you in battle whenever you need it, and probably win. 1700 B power, jeez. I've got a need. A need for a cube. Man, that does not rhyme at all. Anyway, this is Titan King, a true cube unlike Talan. Heavy, weighty, blocky, and when dropped into battle, Titan King transforms into an absolute unit of a Geogon. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just gonna say it. Titan King has been working out. This dude is massive. This dude is buff. And good grief, 1900 B power. And I thought Talon was strong. I'm gonna be amazed if we can find a Geogon stronger than this one because that is insane. And now that I'm thinking about it, the fact that Titan King is gold makes him the perfect companion for King Cubbo. In fact, 
I think there's a new king in town. Oh yeah. That's, well, he's kind of wearing it on his back. All right, Cubbo, you can keep the crown for now. Once again, not a cube. This is Stingzer, a pyramid Bakugan. Although not a perfectly clean pyramid, seeing as it has some, some curve to its edges. Check it out, a stingray. And a stingray with a face on the top, unlike most from nature, which have a face sort of more on the, the bottom. Or is that manta rays? I, I honestly don't know the difference between the different kinds of rays. But what I do know is that Stingzer is going to be gliding through the water. And it's cool too, because we finally got another sort of aquatic Bakugan. Even more so than Sharktar, which you might think is an aquatic Bakugan, but he's got legs. Legs! I for one know that Stingzer is going to be an instant fan favorite just because of the awesome design. So if you see one in stores, make sure to pick it up before they're all gone. This is Hyenix. It might look like a cube as well, but it's actually sort of a half cube. In fact, if you get two Hyenixes and put them next to each other, you get one cube from it. Don't ask me why I have two Hyenixes. Hyenix is already incredibly cool just in its half cube form, but when it pops open, you are in store for a spectacular transformation. Boom! Good grief, Hyenix is huge. Hyenix explodes into this huge werewolf shape ready to howl at the moon. Do hyenas howl at the moon? Do hyenas howl at the moon? Hyenas laugh, that's right. Hyenix is going to be <laughs> laughing its way to victory in battle this time. Yeah, perfect. I actually think Hyenix is one of the coolest Bakugan in its closed form. I mean, it's just so clean. At a glance, if you only look at the 1300B power, Hyenix might not seem as strong as a Bakugan like Titan King, but for only one energy, you can get Hyenix out into battle and already start winning, making Hyenix one of the strongest Geogon you can pick up for the trading card game. So, Geogons are pretty cool, but how do they work in the toy battling game? Let me show you. You and your opponent are battling. The first player to win three rounds wins the game, so you roll out your Bakugan and they both stand. Your opponent has 600B power, and you only have a measly 500B power. Normally, that would mean you lose that round, but you have a secret weapon on your side. Geogon. Once per game, you're allowed to tag team replace your Bakugan with a Geogon from your collection. When you're losing a battle, you get to close up your Bakugan and drop a Geogon onto any Bakukor on the field. Just like that, you've boosted your power level to the 800B listed on the Geogon card, plus the power of whatever core you've picked up. That's more than enough power to win this round, getting you one point closer to winning the brawl. You can use any Geogon in your collection to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat, but you need to choose your Geogon and use your Geogon wisely. And you can only use a Geogon once per game, so make sure when you call in the big guns, your Geogon is strong enough to win you that battle. But winning a battle isn't the only time you might want to use a Geogon. If you miss a Bakugan roll, usually that's an automatic loss for that round. But if you have a Geogon, you can use it as a backup brawler and drop it into battle after you miss. Cool, right? Just remember this, you have to drop your Geogon from at least one card length above the battlefield. But don't drop it from too high or you might miss the Baku core you want, or miss the Hide Matrix entirely. If you miss your Geogon drop, you lose that round just like if you'd missed your Bakugan roll. Here's another tip. This little symbol shows you where the Geogon's magnet is. Make sure that symbol is aimed down at the battlefield to make sure your Geogon transforms. Oh, and did I mention your opponent can play a Geogon too? Yeah, they might respond to your Geogon with a Geogon of their own. So get Baku hunting to find the strongest Geogon out there. Speaking of which... Okay, now that you guys know how to battle with Geogon, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I have saved the best for last. Boom, Diamond Talan. This is the rarest Geogon of Geogon Wave 2, right after Diamond Slugler from the first wave. Diamond Bakugan are super rare Bakugan that are not always easy to find in stores. 
So if you find a diamond Bakugan, you gotta be sure to pick it up. Let's see what we got here. There we go, Diamond Talan. They've got fancy metallic paint like the gold on Talan's wings, and they come with special diamond ability cards. So far, our winning Bakugan in terms of B power has been Titan King. So let's see if Diamond Talan, in all of its rare glory, has a chance to compete. 22,000 B power! That blows Titan King out of the water, making Talan officially the strongest Geogon of this wave. This is absolutely a Geogon that you're gonna want on your team, if that is, you can find him. The hunt is on. And these Geogon that I've shown off today are not the only ones to find either. All of these 12 Geogon are available in stores right now, and I've heard from leaks from fellow fans that there's gonna be more Geogon than just this coming out soon. When Geogons transform, it looks just as awesome in real life as it does in the Netflix show Bakugan Geogon Rising. I was so stoked to find all of these Geogon in stores, their unique shapes are so cool, and they are an absolute game changer. Literally. Doesn't matter if you're new to Bakugan, or if you've been playing for a long time, every brawler is going to need some Geogon on hand in their battles. I hope you liked this video, make sure to slam that like button and hit subscribe to see more Bakugan videos just like this one. See you next time! Full episodes of Bakugan are now streaming on Netflix. Watch more videos below.